The mention of Lachor Hospital in Guru evokes memories of the battle between medical workers and the Ebola epidemic in the year 2000. Scores of medical workers succumbed to the epidemic along with some of their patients. But 10 years on, Lachor Hospital managers say they learned their lessons and won't allow a repeat of this dreaded phenomenon, which claimed the man who did a lot to fight the outbreak, Dr. Matthew Kia. The hospital is now better prepared to handle viral hemorrhagic fever or any highly contagious disease compared to when it first struck uh, the hospital. Speaking on the sidelines during prayers in memory of Dr. Ruki and others, Dr. Kotia team explains the strides taken in changing the face of Lachor Hospital. We realized that uh, we had to improve the level of uh, analyzing the daily activity of uh, improving the, the way we were um, making diagnosis in patients, to have a constant training in awareness so that one strange case, one, um, one death more than usual, should really alarm us and they have been practicing the, the way to react to such an outbreak. At the time, health units were too ill-equipped to handle the outbreak, coupled with ignorance of the public about how the epidemic spread. But one man who survived, Walter Odong, says his survival was a miracle. They said, perhaps I could have survived Ebola because I had no other virus in my blood. But what I know is that God has made me to survive, to serve the people. The anniversary comes at a time a strange disease is ravaging Kitugum with no clear clue yet as to what is causing it. Daddy!